Team World were celebrating Taylor for its win over Cameron Norrie.As Team World drew level with Team Europe. Francis TFO forced Eurosport pundit Jim Courier to apologize for the American's language after courtside microphones picked up him dropping the F-bomb twice following Taylor Fritz win over Cameron Norrie. Team World have made it clear this week that they're determined to end their barren spell at the Labour Cup. That was evident on Friday night when TFO and Jack Sock refused to let Roger Federer win on his final match before retirement. But it was Team Europe who once again got off to the better start on Saturday when Matteo Berrettini beat Felix Auger-Aliassime to give them a 4-2 lead. Matches on Saturday are worth two points, meaning Team World were in need of clawing something back before the night nice session with 21-time Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic playing both singles and doubles. That put plenty of pressure on Fritz against British number one Nori and the former got off to an incredible start as he wrapped up the opening set inside 25 minutes. Nori eventually woke up to put up much more of a fight in the second and eventually got the break to force a match tiebreak. But Fritz had just enough to see out the win and bring the scores level once more with Team World's bench celebrating wildly with the American. TFO was the most animated with his compatriot at the end. Clearly trying to hype Fritz up after something was said between the pair. F asterisk 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 that bro, F asterisk 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 that. Look at that scoreboard right there, TFO could be heard saying to Fritz. Career was quick to jump on commentary to apologize for TFO's X-rated conversation. He said, apologies for the language. A little bit of excitement on the bench. Understandable, they are level after six matches and that has not been the case for Team World very often in the Labour Cup. It got a little shaky and dramatic there at the end but he held onto that lead that had given away, finally turned it in 10-8. Avenges his loss in the Davis Cup from last week to Cam Norrie as well, that's got to feel good.